All right, a lot of stuff over here. Well, sorry guys, I was gonna get better footage of it, but my battery just dropped below 15%, which means the flash is no longer working for lighting up my shots, but that's okay. We are almost done for the evening, but let me talk you through that real quickly as we cruise through this aisleway here. So we saw a shark, a shark rotation, I believe. Looked like a very nice one, shark vacuum. Looks like that probably was the graveyard. Uh, they were taking apart refrigerator, and then a fully kind of put together refrigerator. And then behind the half wall, it was too dark to film, and I'm sorry, there was actually a white shark vacuum. That's literally two shark vacuums in the same aisleway and a dice in the complex before this. It's a day of vacuums, my goodness gracious. We're probably including mattresses. If I had a big truck, we have easily resellable value $600. Easy, all day long. We got ourselves a tower fan and a Bella cooker. It was in the box. Don't know if it was the Bella cooker or not. It could have been an old one. They could have got a new fan and a new cooker and put the old cooker and the old fan out by the curb. That definitely is dream goals right there. If I had some extra cheese, Model X, 21 inch rims, blacked out completely, long range. So I wouldn't have to uh, charge my car live right here with you. Uh, that's a chair, one single chair behind that cardboard thing. Like one single, uh, uh, maybe they only wanted four chairs out of a five dining room table. All right, and I was interested in this. There looked like a lot of action here. Uh, okay, we got shoe boxes, some chairs. Uh, let's just go in for a little closer look real quick. Let's see if we need to knock around those shoes. They're women's shoes, but they might be in there. I'm just going to get a little closer. Um, and we got some chairs in saran wrap. That looks actually really nice. Let's jump out real quick. Well, we'll top off the evening with a whole set of shoes. Most of them did look like they were teenager shoes, but one looks like for a regular woman, a really nice pair of Converse that should, I mean, they look brand new to be honest with you in the Ralph Lauren box. And so we grab the Converse to resell those. Those should sell for, I'm hoping 20 or $30 or so. We're looking really, really good. Thank you Lord for the blessings and all the finds. Go over to it. Leo, we're king of the world, Leo. King of the world. Woo. All right, so I'm actually heading out to do some diving, but I drove on the way to the freeway. I was driving by this house and I see a bunch of stuff. All right, there's actually a little bit more action right here as well. Let me hit the snaps real quick. I right, saw so lantern, gas cap, end table. 
Wow, hold on. This guy was putting this saw. Hold on, I might have to whip back around real quick. <laughs> Is he going in the truck with that? Hold on one second. Let me see where this guy's putting this thing. He putting that by the curb? No, he's putting that in the truck. Okay, this beautiful, like I'm talking about $300 saw. I thought he was laying out by the curb. Okay, so let's get back to this. So I'm literally driving to the freeway and I'm gonna try to get better footage than the Snapchats, but gorgeous couches and a gorgeous uh, China cabinet, full entertainment center. Let me see if I can get some better footage, hold on. All right, looks like we're gonna have to just get the Snapchats. We got, uh, Free on both of those right there. Beautiful couches. And look at this huge entertainment center. Wow, very nice. So that's what people do. They put free signs on it. Sometimes they don't, and that gets a little confusing. Uh, sometimes you need to go knock on the door to make sure it's free before you snag it. Uh, other times people will set stuff out on the curb with a price to sell, meaning like a hundred bucks. My dad did that with a generator not too long ago. And I think, uh, you know, put a price tag on it. They just come knock on your door, talk to you, make sure it works, and then they buy it. All right, there's some weights right over here, but there's a garage open. Hold on one second. Well guys, I grabbed the weights. One is a really nice uh, dumbbell, and the other one is a Reebok square dumbbell. It's still 50 pounds of weights, but it's just two different dumbbells. They'll still sell. They won't sell for entirely 100% of what you could get in the quarantine gym reselling market. And even though there was a garage door open, you just run it. You just park, you know what I'm saying? Kind of act nonchalant. What you don't want is you don't want neighbors to think that you took something from like, let's say inside of the garage, you know what I'm saying? So you do have to be definitely careful about that. So just definitely play it cool, play it safe. Gym clothes, another garage door open. Anyway, that set of dumbbells right back there should definitely still sell. I'm thinking 45 the same day you list it. Even though two different dumbbells, you might even fetch yourself 50 bucks or something like that all day. We got a lamp right here. Let me go ahead and creep up a little bit here. Yeah, lamp right here, boxes, just regular boxes. Lamp looks like it needs to be screwed back in or JB Weld. Once again, there's a grip of stuff. Three garages open here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit closer of a look here. Um, office chair. All right, so there was an office chair and I thought that's why I always double back. Oh man, I forgot to go to the other one, drat. <laughs> All right, uh, man, shoot, because the other one is popping pretty good as well. Uh, anyway, um, I got excited and I turned out of there. I was gonna go in for a closer look, but there were three garages open right next to those cans. So people are definitely burning and turning and moving product. So this is good news. Creep up to this set here, nothing there. But I double back and there was not a television. So I feel good about going ahead and skipping that. All right, a lot of stuff over here. This is where Brandon and I found those shoes. So let's get out and we got a big uh, walkway here. Let's go ahead and do a little pick and let's see what's up. There was uh, quite a few action, uh, some little kid stuff. Looked like uh, maybe some kids growing up a little bit. Their parents getting rid of some stuff there. Uh, looks like, uh, what's right here? Uh, not much right there. Just like a little drop cloth or something like that in the aisle way. We'll go ahead and push forward. Uh, bag of clothes, bag of uh, shoes. The shoes look like they were for smaller children. So we'll go ahead and skip out on that one. A couple pairs of Vans. I think some rain boots, something like that. 
I think something around uh, eh, maybe, you know, size small for a teenager or something like that. Some dishware inside the dumpster as well. Let's go ahead and push forward. This canister dumpsters are hot today. All right, guys, you're going to have to stay tuned for Friday's video for the second part to see what else I found. I found a lot of good stuff. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, so we need to test this one out. This is, again, the Samsung 37-inch TV that I did find. It is actually dating back uh, a little bit um, to... I believe 2012. So it's actually kind of an older TV. I'm trying to find the on and off switch here. Down here at the bottom. Let's see if it works right here live with you. I heard something. I don't see anything yet. Oh, very nice. Okay. We got a fully working Samsung TV. This looks like it's LED is my guess. And if you're seeing flicker, uh, I do not see that, but my camera's picking that up for some reason. It does that occasionally. Anyway, sweet. All right. A 37-inch working Samsung TV. Super pumped on that one. And again, I don't believe this is a smart TV, but I'm going to go ahead and... And it doesn't look like it just because there is no Ethernet port. There's just digital audio. There's just one board in there. And I've shown this to you before, but you can tell it's a 37 inch because the two numbers after the UN, that's 37 inches. And the date right there is manufactured July, 2012. Anyway, I gotta dust off the top a little bit, but very nice, fully functioning Samsung 37 inch TV. Thank you, Lord. Let's go ahead and go over here without showing you some of the other spoils of the plunder. But we'll go ahead and look at what was in the Ralph Lauren box here. These are again the Converse that were kind of a, I mean, I still think they're teenagers. Um, maybe young gals, don't quote me on that one. That just looks like, that's not uh, doggy stuff. <laughs> that's just like one of those smash things that comes out of a tree. Uh, but I'm hoping to sell these cons for about, you know, 20, 30 bucks. I'm not exactly sure how much those are. Uh, let's see uh, what size they are as well. My guess is women's or teenagers. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where it is. Anyway, oh, maybe it's on the bottom here. All star three and a half. Uh, so that seems a little small. Anyway, I'll look them up. If they're not worth much, we'll just donate them. But I thought that was a cool, sweet score. Oh, and before I do leave you, Mr. Sleep Slot actually sold those dumbbell weights already for a total of $55. He sold them as singles. The hexagon one went for 35 and the Reebok one went for 20, total of 50. Actually, no, is that 55? No, that's 60. Heh, 60 bucks. Sweet. No, that's 55. 20 and 35 equals 55. Chris, heh, heh, you gotta go back to math class. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>